What up, everybody? Welcome Hello. to another installment of the Bait Team. Yes. This is Rico Corleone. And this is King No on at Twitter. You know what I'm saying? At a nigga. Anyway, today. And I'm not drunk as fuck. Well, of course. Well, that's dope, drunk, dope, that's fake. we ain't, we ain't put them videos up on this page, so fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to talk about rapper versus rapper. We're going we're going to do a, a little bit of what we did in episode 2, which is a, ask each other the toughest questions and hope one of us stutters. And it's more than likely going to be me. <laughs> all right. How should we get started, Quentin? You. What? All right. Go ahead. What whatever, whatever right. question you got, I don't care. All right. Well, the topic being Rapper versus rapper. You can look at it as who's winning the battle or who who's just overall better career wise. And then on top of that, who's better uh, lyrically or skill wise, too. So, uh. all right. Well, how you want to do that? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No. All right. Let's start off with who winning the rap battle. Okay. Fuck it. Let's go. Who winning the rap battle? Between Kendrick Lamar mm -hmm. and Lupe Fiasco. Well, that would be a great battle. That's definitely some overtime type shit. They're similar. Very strong. I wouldn't be surprised if it ended in a draw either. But, you know, if you ask me who will win, I think Kendrick by a – I say Kendrick in overtime because I think Lupe Fiasco will say some. Smart shit, but Kendrick Lamar is a lot more street, a lot more raw, you know, a lot more strong, you know what I'm saying, lyrically. I think Lupe will say some fly shit. He'll say some slick shit. You know, Lupe's a, a complete smart ass. We know this. And, you know, and Lupe is definitely politically charged. So he can try, he'll probably try to outthink Kendrick Lamar because he's smarter. But at the same time, I think Kendrick Lamar's punchlines will hit a lot more harder than Lupe's. You know, I think they're about the same when it comes to rapping and and overall. But at the same time, in a rap battle, I give it to K-Dot. In a rap battle, I give it to K-Dot. All right. Who do you think is just overall a better rapper? Lupe by a hair. Because obviously Lupe's been in the game a little bit longer. And he's very consistent. And, you know, even Lasers had some good joints on there, even though the best ones were taken off. But at the same time, I think Kendrick's music is a lot better than his, in a way. But I think Lupe Fiasco <laughs> is overall better because, of the, you know, he's had a long career. He's been doing this for a long time. And I think, you know, Kendrick Lamar hasn't had that fuck up yet. He hasn't fucked up yet. He has a fuck up song. As, no, I'm talking about album. You know, talking about. Oh, no, about he never album. flopped. He never flopped the whole album. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He hasn't had his Kanye West type fall. No, he ain't had no 808 in heart. He hasn't, he hasn't, you know, he hasn't done anything like that yet. He's too early in his Neither career. Neither has Lupe. Yeah. You, get, you, you, you don't like lasers. It is his worst album. But it's better but than most motherfuckers. It's albums. better. It was probably one of the best albums of the year still. It was just not. Lupe, Calibre. Lupe, no, it wasn't par for Lupe. Okay, but it was a little bit too commercial, also. All right, I got something for you. All right, hmm. who would win in the battle between Cassidy? Ooh, it's gonna be fun. Whatever you say, I might be about to say Cassidy. What is it? No, nah, man, you ain't gonna. What you finna say? What you finna say? <laughs> the world will never know what I'm gonna say. Cassidy or Black Thought? A battle? A rap battle. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Cassidy will win a rap battle. I'm not oh, saying he's a better rapper than Black Thought, fuck but if they were to battle Cassidy will win. Why? Because whenever Cassidy diss a nigga, he wins. You know, he just that undefeated rap battler. You know what I mean? Like who called him out? Meek Mill? Eight, oh man, he ate Meek Mill. Yeah, even I think Meek's, Papoose called Meek's him out too. second, Meek's second comeback was um, you know, was better, but you know, Cassidy still ate him up though. Cass Cassidy still won. You know, you look at Cassidy's track record; he's made a lot of diss songs, and he's you know he's the king of the punchlines. Ain't nobody got punchlines like Cassidy, Jada Kiss, Fab, and Fab. But uh, you know, for the most part, 
if they were to battle, Cassidy, I think, would eat that nigga. Because Black Thought, when you look at Black Thought, you don't think of battle rapper too much. He, Like you said, I think he'd be super lyrical and say some smart shit, kind of like you said, Lupe Wood versus Kendrick. Because mm-hmm. that's Black Thought. But Cassidy is just more of a battle rapper. Black Thought ain't got that anger, that strong delivery. Mm, I don't know I've about heard, that. Now, now look, I've heard songs where Black Thought went hard, but it's, it's very seldom. No, I think it's about eh, 30, 30, 70. I think you're right. But yeah, I think Black Thought, you know, he has the possibility of upsetting him, but at the same time, you know, everybody going to favor Cass. You know, Judge is going to favor Cass on everything, so. <laughs> They're definitely going to give it to him. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you know, other niggas, especially old heads, they're going to think Black Thought won. Yeah. If you, because you want to look at, like, well, okay. Cassidy would win a freestyle battle. Like, if they were a battle talking about each other, but if it was a cypher, uh-huh. Thought would win. Oh, obviously. Black Thought is. Thought would win a cypher. Oh, yeah. He wouldn't win no battle. All right. Next question. All right. Who would win a battle? Between, all right, Elza, mm-hmm. <laughs> nah, you can say that Elza versus. I think someone close to this caliber, lyrically. Elza versus Royce. Well, two that, Detroit rappers. That'd be a hell of a battle. That's, you know, especially, you know, those two will be sparring. You know what I'm saying? And Elza and Royce got some shit on each other. So, mm-hmm. so, so that'd, be a, that'd be a real good battle. That would be, that'd be low Lux Calico type battle. That'd be worse because those two are more lyrical than the both of those guys. Mm-hmm. I, I, ooh. I don't know. I mean, Royce is more creative. Elza is a lot more brutal. And Elzai puts his words together better than Royce does. So I'm going to have to give it to L. Hmm. I'm going to have to give it to L. Even though Royce, Royce might, you know, Royce might wow the other judge involved. If there was three judges, two would say <clears throat> Elzai, one would say Royce. Because I'd say Royce would keep himself in the battle. Royce is more funny and com- comical. But Elzai can be comical too. He can be, but that's not his forte. No. You know, when he tries, it's a hit and miss. Like when, all right, like the song he did, Hands Up. Mm-hmm. I love that song. It was funny. It was, I don't call it lyrical, but it was very relevant and he did great, he did a great job lyrically. And it was just a funny song. He basically was a scenario about him robbing a convenience store clerk, taking his car and then getting caught by the cops in the end. It was a funny song. But, you have to look at it like this. Both of them came from battle rap. They both came from battle rap. And they used to battle rap together. But you have to look at it like this. Elzai has not had a dip beef with anybody yet that I'm, mattered. I'm I mean, he's had he's had he's had, he's right. had beef with people, but not rap beefs. I mean, they don't want you know what I mean? Right. They don't want beef with them. But Royce, people call Royce out. D12 lost to Royce. Mr. Fab lost to Royce. Pretty much everybody who called out Royce, Royce won. Royce is Floyd Mayweather in terms of beef. In terms of, like, battle rapping. He ain't, no, he ain't lost. You know what I mean? There's only a hand couple people in the game that can actually Honestly, beat like Royce I said, in a rap battle. Being probably Eminem and Nas. I think else I can give him that L. It, it, uh, just because his name Elza, I don't mean he's going to give him an L. No, no, but no, I'm serious. Now, look, Elza. I'm serious. Elza, no, it's no hatred to Royce. I don't think. Elza will beat him lyrically, but Royce will beat him on just a mentality wise and just battle, just battle wise. You know, he just, he's just a better battle rapper. This, right. this, this is where he, that's just what he does. You know, Elza is lyrical, Royce is a battle rapper. That's what you know Royce for. You know Royce for battle and being funny. Mm-hmm. You know Elzai for lyrics. But, you know, that's... Lyrics don't always win you the battle. All right. 
Now let's switch it over. Yo. Overalls. Overall? Yeah. Well, I'd say oh, overalls, yeah. Okay. You go first then. Okay. Seems how you already got those shit formulated. <laughs> yeah, true that. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I got a funny one. You're gonna laugh. Oh, yeah. Shotty low or plies? <laughs> You're saying who has a higher rating? Who would you, like I said, who do you think's better overall? Shorty low implies? <laughs> Give them the most worst pieces of shit. No, there's worse rappers than that. Yeah, it is, but I'm just saying. Shorty low implies ain't even that bad a rapper. It's just. As compared to the last. As compared three to some years. niggas that's been coming out lately. But, but uh, okay. Shorty low implies. Nigga, that's like, <laughs> nigga, that's like last year's Chiefs versus last year's Colts. True. No, well, not last year's Colts. Two years ago was Colts. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not. <laughs> well, it's, it's, I'd say pick who's better bad, overall. but who's a better overall? Right? I'm gonna say Plies. Yeah. He's he's done more. He has more to show for. Yep. He's actually had success. Shorty Low had one song. No, he had three. Oh yeah, three. My bad. I forgot done done it all and whatever the other one was, I don't remember. Oh, oh yeah, the shit. remix of his original song. <laughs> but uh that's it. You know, Plies has had like last song I heard from Plies was Becky. Mm-hmm. I don't I'm not a fan of Plies. I'm not saying he's bad, I just don't listen to that type of music. You know, I don't listen to that John that part. I like I some of Plies. I like you know, a lot of hip hop heads is going not is going not for so forgive me for this, but fuck them. Um, I'm gonna say I like Plies' music. I like his songs, but I don't like his lyrics. I like his song. Well, he's not lyrical. Where is he from? He's from Miami. Explains it all. Okay, I'm sorry to say this. There are no potent rappers from Miami. On a Nas level. There are no lyrical rappers from Miami. On a Nas level. What do you mean on a Nas level? There are no lyrical rappers from Miami. Period. Mm. Who? Who? I mean, Ross is the only one. Ross isn't lyrical at all. He's lyrical. He just says shit. He just talks and he rhymes and just talks shit. He's the only person. He's the best one. He's the best one. He is the best rapper from Miami. That's all I'm saying. He's the best one. I personally prefer D Rock over him. He's from Atlanta. Wait. Really? Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. All right. Uh, what's that nigga name? Not D-Rock. Well, not Miami, but Florida. T-Pain. Oh, well. <laughs> you want to talk about Florida? But, all right, Miami? Of course. Best rapper from Florida is T-Pain. <laughs> Best rapper from... Miami. The rapper Ross. from Miami is it's probably Ross. Then Pitbull. <laughs> well, Pitbull, like I said, his first album, cool. Second album, man. Rest of them. <laughs> Fuck. Ass shit. And then he only had like one good song in the last, I don't know. Well, look, he does club songs. I know. He does gay disco He does music. dance songs. He does, he does gay disco music. Man. I don't know about disco. Either. Yeah, it's gay disco I got, music. I got sorry. what you're saying, but I don't know about disco. But anyway. He does fist pump Jersey Shore shit. Fist pump. Yeah, he does that kind of shit now. I mean, he used to do dope. He used to be dope back in the day. He's pretty dope. Fist pump. Fist pump. Look. That nigga went from. Let's get off Miami rap because we can go back and forth all night about how bad they are. As a whole, as a unit, but we're going to take a break, and our, uh, we'll be right back. Yay, yay.